for 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 any any woman that's out here listening, you know, if if you got a guy, your husband, boyfriend, best friend, whatever the case, and he come to you, honorable, he gets some stuff off his chest, and then you decide at a later time that you want to weaponize them vulnerabilities, you might as well consider that relationship through. And you may have just corrupt that man moving forward. He may not ever do that again yeah. with anybody else because you just, you literally just destroyed whatever, you know, whatever vulnerabilities he had or, or wanted to get out there. You know what I'm saying? Right, right. That's tough. It's not necessarily suicide prevention, mm -hmm. um, but it's so I'm I'm with a, of course you know I'm a, a fireman paramedic, so I work with a uh, work with police department as well as a social worker on a on a joint task force, right? Dealing with strictly with uh, mental health stuff, so suicide is definitely included in that. But we deal with you know people who have uh, bipolar, schizophrenia. Right. You know, anything that, you know, would cause the, the brain to not not function and click as it should, you know. Right. Right. Let me ask you this. When yeah. that, you know, in your line of work, do you do you do you tend to see a lot of us? Do you tend to see a lot of brothers or um yeah, what the, the, what the, area that, do you? the area that I work specifically, uh, you know, I'm I'm in the hood, so Yeah. Right here in uh, I work in Oak Cliff, South Dallas, Highland Hill. So yeah. most of it is us. Uh, mm -hmm. We deal with you know, you know, some uh, Hispanics and stuff that's, that's over here in this area too. Right. Um. But for the most part, it, it's it's mainly us, man. And, you know, I'm grateful to to even be in a position to kind of help us out. You right. know what I mean? Right. Right. You know, men in general. You know, it's, you know, especially as you know, especially with us, bro, because we got a stigma tied to mental health. But with men in general, you know, we really don't have a safety net. Women got shelters they can run to. They got, you know, they're more prone to talk to each other about that kind of shit. But for us, bro, it's it's that's another reason why I do this channel too, bro, is to try to try to have a conversation with brothers because a lot of times we got a lot of us that's on the fringes, bro, and a lot of times they find it most safe to just run back to the penitentiary or it's more safe to spaz out you know what I mean and then whatever happened afterwards you know just happened so man you, you definitely you definitely um, you know you you gotta be a special type of person to do the type of work you do bro you know yeah and, and I, I definitely agree with you on that man it's uh, not to not to discount the um, you know the women or anything like that but yeah definitely just Men, men kind of have it coming from all sides when it comes to standing on your own two feet, staying ten toes down. In right. that regard, you know, it's uh, even amongst ourselves, which I wish it would it would change, especially in the line of work that I do. You know, I wish I wish men, black men, just men in general, but black men specifically, right. you know, would be okay asking for some help. You know what I'm saying? Even if it's just a partner, hey, you know, like like I know I can call you anytime. Like, hey, bro, look. Yeah. I'm, you know what I'm saying, bro? I ain't, I ain't really feeling it right now. You know, my mental yeah. kind of screwed up. You know what I'm saying? I just need to get some stuff off my chest or, yeah, yeah. you know, you know I'm, I'm struggling up, financially, shit. man. You know, whatever. You know what I mean? Yeah, you know, I'm going to pull up, shit. I get, I get a call from you like that. I'll be like, hey, shit, where you at, shit? I'm going to pull up on you, shit. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. You know, that's the, um, that's why I never understood, you know, a lot of times people get into that, oh, man, I ain't got no friends or I ain't got no real friends or niggas. Be against the world, or I'm like, bro, that shit sound good because you heard it on the song, bro. But shit, you, you know this this world can be treacherous. You know what I'm saying? And, and, and you, you, you know you, you you turn around and you look around and you ain't got nobody. You ain't got nobody where you can really just be like, hey, bro, this this shit I'm dealing with. And before you know it, you know, like I said, you slip up and get caught in a situation. You know what I mean? Absolutely, man. I we see it all the time, man. Even with uh. Even on the department, bro, I think uh, we've had, and just for disgrace, and I ain't going to say which department or whatever, but, <laughs> um, bro, we've had literally six 
successful suicides or suicide attempts just in Damn. the last 12 months. Damn. You know what I mean? It's, it's a lot that we deal with. We see a lot that a normal person really shouldn't see on right. a daily basis. Right. Um, and sometimes, bro, you're not ready for it. It's a lot. It's a lot to take in. It's a lot to process. You know right. what I'm saying? You question. You question a lot, bro. You question. You question your belief system from religion to you know things that your parents and stuff told you because you, you see you see the hell- hellacious side of life, bro. Like, yeah. Damn, like, damn, buddy, just buddy. The whole head is sitting in the seat next to him. You know what I'm saying? Like we pull up yeah. on stuff like that on a regular basis. Like, yeah. And it can it, it can definitely it can eat at you. It really yeah. can. And it, you know, and, um, I know a lot of people. Uh, you know, because I've been doing this for for nine years now. So, you know, I, I talk to a, a lot of the younger cats, man. That you know, ask me, you know, man, how do you how do, how do I apply? How do I get on or yeah. You know, what do I need to do? You know, what what kind of qualifications do I need to have? And I, I tell them straight up, like, all of that's fine. You know what I'm saying? Right. You, you need these qualifications. You need this in order to apply. But at the same time, bro, you got to have the right mental qualifications, too. Because yeah. <laughs> this ain't, yeah. you know, we, we, we get a lot of love from the public. Um, you know, people really look at our jobs and say, oh, my God, you're heroes and all this kind of stuff. And. Yeah. While I, I, while I always, you know, say thank you and all this kind of stuff, bro. We, I don't really look at myself or, or, or a lot of others that do this job as really heroes. Yeah. Um, because we get paid, we get paid pretty well for what we do. Right. You know right. what I'm saying? And I always say, man, the heroes, bro. Those are the the average citizens, bro, that, that that act in a moment's notice with without even thinking about it to try to save somebody else's life, you know, especially right. if it puts their own life in danger. You know what I'm saying? Right. Like, right. those are heroes. I, I get paid to save people. Yeah. Not to say that, you know, I wouldn't act in a moment's notice in order to help somebody, but as far as just on a, on a daily basis, me waking up, coming to work, I get a check two weeks. You know what I'm saying? Right. Right. So, but yeah, it's, it's 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 a it can be a lot, bro. To to, yeah. to say the least, it, it can be a lot. But you know, just having the right people around you, yeah. having people you can talk to, right? You know, family, right. close friends, people that you can kind of be vulnerable with. You know right. what I'm saying? Right, right. It may be one of the moments where you're talking and getting some stuff off your chest, bro. And you got to let out a good cry. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You got to shed a few tears. You know what I'm saying? Just so you can kind of shake back. Right. And. You know, you already know it's a black man, but we don't do that. <laughs> yeah, straight up, straight up. We don't do that, bro. Bro, you know what, bro? Like a lot of a lot of times, bro. Like you said, especially in the manosphere and then like in this space, we talk so much about relationships, and then you have certain content creators that are hit on like issues that are affecting black men, bro. But I think that's one of the. It's funny you mentioned that. I think that's one of the areas or one of the topics that. We probably don't touch on enough is as a, because you, you you really ain't you know you really ain't trying to do it with your girl or be that vulnerable because you know by nature you know they they can they can say oh okay you know what i'm saying maybe one time you might you know you do something like that they're like oh okay after a while they start looking at you funny like eh, you know what you, you keep crying and shit now but with us you know i think that you know we play a real important part and allowing brothers to, and allowing brothers to let that shit out because especially especially when you're dealing with the public, I heard somebody explain it as, you know, you're dealing with the very worst of what of what of what happens in society a lot of times. You know what I'm saying? Day in and day out. You know what I mean? Absolutely. You know, and shit. At the end of the day, you know, you know, y- y'all are human too. You know, so man, I you know one thing I can say, bro, is if it, if it's ever a time where you know, but you feel like, hey, bro, I just need to get out the house. Or, hey, I, you know, hey, I'm finna hit you up and shit. Y'all already know I'm gonna pick up. And if I don't pick up, I'm gonna call back. You know what I'm saying? Absolutely. You know, that, that, that's that. But, you you know, your insight on it and knowing that, you know, you got to get that out of your system sometime, man, that, that shit say a lot too. You know what I mean? Absolutely. And I'll yeah. say this too, bro. Like, <laughs> um, you know, 
you know, I've, I've definitely seen enough. And I think just, you know, once you've seen it enough, you become desensitized to it, kind of become numb to it. Right. You know, death doesn't even feel the same anymore. You know what I'm saying? Mm. You kind of, you're, you're kind of hard. Yeah. And, and, you know, and in some instances, bro, it, it could actually be very detrimental to, to a relationship because you kind of lose the ability to feel. You don't right. really have those same feelings as a normal person.